Hey guys, let's uh, finish this apron. What do you say? Uh, so today we're going to make the neck strap and the ties. We will put it all together with the front and back of your apron if you're making it reversible. And I'll show you how to finish it off if it's not going to be reversible and then we'll be done. So let's talk about these straps and necktie. So the first thing I did was I made another paper pattern and I made a pattern that was 4 inches by 25 and because I want my necktie and my ties to match, I went ahead and just cut three of that size. One for the neck, two for the ties. And after I cut it out, I discovered that I wanted my ties to be a little bit longer. So I kept one for a necktie and then I went ahead and made two that were about five inches longer for the ties in the back. Because I want it to be able to wrap around and put a bow in the front. Because it's got to be cute. So, after I got out my pieces, my three pieces, I went ahead and took my fabric and folded it right sides together, pinned it. I always pin it so my pins are facing the sewing needle. That way I'm not having the, the little ball at the end get hit with the needle, which would probably break the needle. And after I went ahead and pinned it, for the neck tie, I only stitched the long edge. For the two tie ends, I stitched the long edge, and when I got to the very bottom, I rotated my needle, and I'll show you how to do that, and then I stitched down this edge, therefore closing one end of it. So to flip it, now there's a couple different ways you can go about flipping your tube of fabric inside out, and YouTube has a load of great videos involving like safety pins and stuff like that. I happen to have one of these guys, one of these little tools that cost a couple bucks at the craft store, and sometimes they work, sometimes they're more of just a pain in the keister. There's a little hook on the end, and what you do is you just grab that fabric, I know you cannot see, grab the fabric and start pulling the fabric through. I knew this wasn't going to work. <gasps> so after you're done, oh, I just heard a Tia. After you've got it done, you're going to go ahead and iron it. Now, the one that's closed on the end, the two tie ins that I said to stitch the end, you can still use this tool when you do that. Um, the only problem is I noticed that when I flipped it inside out, it wasn't a nice clean edge, meaning that when I flipped it inside out, it was kind of curved. So what I did then was I stuck the tool back in and kind of poked my edges back out, or you can always use a pair of tweezers and kind of pull those little corners out. Once you've got your necktie and your two tie-ins done, go ahead and iron this so that it's a nice band of fabric like that. Now that your tie-ins are done, you're ready to start pinning them inside of your apron and then we'll put the apron together. So I'll show you how to do that next. 